activity and we are back again to talk about another uh, the second video regarding data act 2016 in my previous video i already covered the importance of this act why this act is required and i have also talked about introduction and also talked about salient features registration and in this video i will talk about data Uh, functions and powers. Functions and powers. Functions are given in section thirty-four, and powers are given in thirty-five to thirty-eight. Uh, functions are registration, regulation of real estate project, maintenance of the database on its website for public viewing of all registered real estate project, details of developers or real estate agents, fixation of standard. Fees to be levied on uh, lotties, promoters, or real estate agents. Ensure compliance of its regulation and other regular obligations passed upon the promoters, lotties, and real estate agents. And the powers of real estate is may to a motto or on receipt of complaint, call for information, and conduct investigation. May issue interim order during the pendency of proceedings. Has the power to impose penalty or interest in regard to the contravention of um, of the obligations cast upon developers, lotties, or real estate agent. These are the functions and powers of RERA. In order of protection of buyers, it's very important because before RERA Act came into existence, there were a lot of scams against the buyers. Buyers suffered a lot of losses because of unregistered buyer builders. They used to take money and then they used to report back. So, what measures the Act has taken to protect the buyers? The Act prohibits un unaccounted money from being pumped into the sector. As now, seventy percent of the money has to be deposited in the bank accounts through checks. A major benefit for consumers included in the Act is that builders will have to quote prices based on carpet area and not on builder area. Carpet area has been clearly defined. The Act to include usable spaces like kitchen and toilets. And if I talk about real estate regulatory authority, appellate tribunal, establishment of state level real estate regulatory authorities to regulate the transaction related to both residential and commercial projects, RERA's RERA acts or uh, authorities, RERA authorities will ensure timely completion and handover of projects. Uh, appellate tribunals will now be required to adjudicate cases in 16 days as against the earlier provisions of 90 days. The regulatory authorities has to dispose of complaints in 60 days without, while no time frame was indicated in the earlier bill. The Union Ministry of Housing and Urban Poverty um, Elevation issued a notification on April 19, 2017, announcing the section. Three to nineteen forty fifty nine to seventy seventy nine the eighty of the real estate regulation uh, regulation development act two thousand sixteen may shall come into force on first May two thousand seventeen. What are the future implications of the amendment? These measures are expected to boost domestic and foreign investment in the sector and help achieve the objective of the government of India to provide housing for all by 2022 through enhanced private participation. The bill ensures mandatory disclosure by promoters to customer customers through registration of real estate projects, as well as real estate agents with the real estate regulatory authority. The bill aims at restoring confidence of the general public in the real estate sector by instituting transparency and accountability in real estate and housing transactions. This is in return will enable the sector to access capital and financial markets essential for its long term growth. The bill will promote orderly growth through consequent efficient project execution and professionalism and sanitization. The bill is expected to ensure greater accountability towards customers and to significantly reduce frauds and delays. 
The bill is also expected to promote regulated and orderly growth through efficiency and professionalism and standardization. It seeks to ensure consumer protection without adding another stage in the procedure for sanctions. And if I talk about salient feature of amendment, the first salient feature of amendment is applicability of the bill. The proposed initial bill was applicable for re residential real estate. It is now proposed to both residential and commercial real estate. The second feature is establishment of real estate regulatory authority. Establishment of one or more real estate um, regulatory authority in each state or union territory or any authority for two or more states union authority by the appropriate government for oversight of real estate transaction to appoint one or more adjudicating officers to settle uh, disputes and impose compensation and interest. Third point is registration of real estate projects and registration of real estate agents. Mandatory registration of real estate projects and real estate agents who intend to sell any plot, apartment or building with the real estate regulatory authority. The mandatory public disclosure of all project details, mandatory public disclosure norms for all registered projects such as details of promoters, project, layout, plan, plan of development, work, works, plan status, status of statutory approvals, and disclosure of performa agreements, names and addresses of real estate agents, contractors, architects, structural engineer, etc. Functions and duties of promoter are disclosure of all relevant information of project, adherence to approved plans and project specification, obligations regarding veracity of the advertising to sale or prospectus, rectify structural defects to fund money in case of default. Then the next salient feature is compulsory deposit of 50% to compulsory uh, deposit 50% or such lesser person uh, as notified by the appropriate government of the amount realized for the real estate project. Uh, real estate project from the lottery in a separate account in a scheduled bank within a period of 15 days to cover the cost of construction to be used for that purpose. Adherence to declare plan to bar the promoter from altering plans, structural designs and specifications of the plot, apartment or building without the consent of two-third uh, lotties after disclosure, however, minor additions or alterations permissible due to architecture and structural reasons. What are the functions of real estate agents? The function is to maintain the book of accounts, records and documents and not to be involved in unfair trade practices. And what are the rights and duties of the lottie? To claim possession as per the promoter declaration will refund with interest and compensation for default by the promoter. A lot is to make payments and full responsibility as per the agreement. The functions of real estate authority is to coordinate efforts regarding development of the real estate sector and render necessary advice to the appropriate government to ensure growth and promotion of a transparent, efficient and competitive real estate sector. Fast track dispute settlement mechanism, fast track dispute resolution through adjudicating officers, that is district judge, appealing to do to hear appeals. And uh, there has to be an establishment of central advisory council to advise the central government on implementation of the act, recommended policy, protection of consumer interest and to foster growth and development of the real estate sector. The establishment of real estate, a appellant tribunal, real estate appellant tribunal to hear appeals from the orders of authority and the adjudic adjudicating officer. The appellant tribunal is to be headed by a sitting or retired judge of the <coughs> high court with one judicial and one administrative technical member. Punitive position provision. Punitive provisions including re-registration of the project and penalties in case of contravention of provisions of the bill 
or the orders of the authority or tribunal bar of jurisdiction courts provision for barring jurisdiction of courts and any authority from entertaining complaints in respect of matters covered under the bill the power to make rules and regulations appropriate to a government to have powers to make rules over subjects specified in the bill regulatory authorities to have power to make regulations now this is all about hera i will also discuss uh, each uh, each chapter of the whereat of the act in a specific video this was the overall in just what rera majorly talked about uh, thank you please you can write my, uh, write any kinds of questions to me you already have my email address thank you so much